What's up everybody? Hopefully you guys are having a fantastic day and welcome back to our operator tips and tricks guide for Sledge. Regardless of your experience with the game, hopefully today I can help you guys better understand the play style you should be using when playing Sledge and also I will be telling you the best loadouts to use when you're playing with the operator Sledge. For the absolute new players, I'm going to show you guys the trailer here for Sled, just so you get a basic understanding of what he is and what he does. For everyone that doesn't really care and has already seen these operator trailers, then go ahead skip 45 seconds or so into the video. And that's where we'll get started on the actual tips and tricks for the video and for Sledge. Obviously guys, when it comes down to it, Sledge is one of the easiest operators to get into if you are new at the game. If you're not new, it's still a fun operator. It's actually one of the highest pick rate in Pro League. To start off with the basics, we're gonna go over the loadout that we should be using when we're playing Sledge. We're gonna start off with just going over every gun that he has. The first main gun that he has is the L85A2, which is a fully automatic assault rifle that hits really hard and has very low recoil. It's definitely one of the best guns in the game and it actually has a pretty decent recoil power pattern as well. Another option as a primary weapon is the M590A1, which is his secondary choice usually for primary weapon for him to use. Everyone usually should be doing the assault rifle, but if you are good with the secondary guns, you'll see why maybe using a shotgun is a good option for you. Everything you do in Siege needs to be good for you and not for everyone else. Don't copy anyone and actually test things out, just like how you'll have to test out the secondaries, which there are two options here with the P226, which which is one of the best pistols in the game, but it really does not compare to the other gun that we have as a option for a secondary, which is the SMG 11, which is a fully automatic SMG with a very fast fire rate at 1270. Obviously what comes with a high fire rate is awful recoil and specifically on vertical recoil. It's really hard to gauge where the bolts are actually gonna end up. That's why it's a fantastic idea to pair it with one of these main assault rifles that Sledge has to offer, or you can go with a shotgun SMG combo, which some people can do successfully and it basically turns it into smoke since smoke has the same weapon choices whenever it comes down to the shotgun and the smg 11. so let's talk about what gun i recommend you guys using and what attachments you should use on the gun obviously between the shotgun and the assault rifle on offense solely on offense this is what we're determining everything on i would choose the l85 a2 since it is more of a long range fight whenever you're playing offense and as for attachments i would either suggest using the holograph or the ACOG depending on the map and your situation of how you play. If you are a more long range scout them out type player I would use the ACOG and if you want to be more in their face and you are more aggressive I would highly recommend using the holograph. Personally I use the holograph as I would like to rather surprise them and be closer to them instead of just sitting back holding angles and I, that's just not my play style. Obviously do it your play style. Personally I recommend doing the holograph and then we move to the barrels. So this weapon already has fantastic recoil so I choose the muzzle brake just for a one shot recoil boost for my barrel. Obviously none of those really make a difference on a gun that has this good of accuracy really but muzzle brake for me is what has worked and it will continue to work for you guys whenever you try it out. That's just for a single shot if you guys don't know. Compensator is for long time rapid firing and flash hider is for small burst recoil and suppressor that is very situational. I don't recommend that if you are a newer player and if you are more advanced then go for it but just know that the damage is going to drop off substantially and for grip just use the vertical grip that's the only thing you can use it just helps the recoil even more and for under barrel i recommend not going with a laser you can see lasers by the way defenders can also see your laser so i recommend not going with a laser as your under barrel and just keeping that one empty and that is it for the primary and for the secondary we are going to be the smg 11 with the holograph uh, regardless of what you want to do do not ever use a red dot 
dot usually in basically any situation you never want to use a red dot hollow is the easiest to get the heads in holographic is probably the best option here as it is a short range weapon really with 35 damage and 1270 fire rate which is absolutely insane and the highest mobility and for your barrel i recommend using the flash hider as it is more of a small burst recoil if you are trying to control this weapon for a long duration of time with a compensator it's not going to work you are going to be off your mouse pad or if you're playing console you just won't even physically be able to do it but the flash hider will indeed just give you small bursts you never want to just hold down the trigger on this you want to tap fire and just sputter with the gun instead of just holding it down extended barrel is also option and that would be a better option of course if you are using a shotgun to match with the smg 11 instead of going with the assault rifle then we go with vertical grip here and we have a laser once again you'll never see me recommend that except if it's maybe a shotgun as i have been revealed too many times with the laser sight yet i never actually use a laser i never am hip firing in this game and you should probably never be hip firing unless if it's a shotgun maybe as for your side gadget always use the grenade here we want to get in a good habit of that as that has the most bragging capability as in getting kills so with that out of the way we finally have our loadout set up and now we are hopping into a game we have our gadget we all know it is the breaching hammer there's never a situation where you can really go wrong with the breaching hammer it can destroy a castle it can destroy any non-reinforced wall and importantly it gets the roof hatches which are basically free and we are playing sledge guys we want to think of how we can be a vertical player we want to think how we can get above and how we can use our hammer to the best of our team's ability to help the team get into the site obviously we can clear out very important things if we know where they are and sledge above them and get those free kills a sledge basically has unlimited sledges compared to a, a operator like buck with limited shots that he can shoot through the wall he instead though is more at risk whenever he is sledging obviously sledge has to be on top of the hammer while he is slamming it down so his body is more at risk right when the hat or right when he shoots it open so if someone is spraying through the wall it's more likely that he gets hit over a guy Guy like buck or anyone else with a breaching charge just like every opera in the game though it means nothing if you don't actually use their gadget it's just a gun at that point ledge is really great at just adding surprise to the game you want to surprise the defenders that's the main thing you don't want to just have them aiming at a door and have your whole team rush through it, or else your whole team is just going to die regardless of if you're playing ranked or casual that's what happens once the time runs out everyone panics everyone rushes and that's what happens every time i play the game really everyone's always rushing at the last 50 15 to 30 seconds trying to get a plant off and end up dying just by people holding angles now flip the reversal if you have the angles with sledge with your team running them out you can be above them poking holes where they are trying to anchor and have them scattering instead of you and your team that is also where the nades come in whenever the ceiling breaks above them that usually creates a instant run mentality from the defenders so what you can do there is start by throwing grenades you have two grenades whenever you're playing sledge so throw them throw them use the grenades if you don't use the grenades there's no reason to even have the grenades that's what i say about everything there's no reason to even have a gadget if you don't use it you got to use everything while you might not always get these lucky nade kills, as long as you know in the direct vicinity of where they are, you cook the grenade, you throw it, and you'll probably get some damage on someone at least once out of the two grenades, as long as you have a good reasoning behind why you're throwing them. Don't just blindly throw them, but actually have a drone down there, actually hear them there, whatever it is, just know they are in that general vicinity and chuck the grenade there, cook it up a few times, and then throw it. So finally, we wanna talk about when we should be using Sledge and how it should be used for the best counter ability to other operators now obviously we can look at sledge and castle because castle can get hit once with a sledgehammer and it will be gone and it'll break just like castles armored panels evil eyes can be destroyed with one hammer hit or an explosive so the nade or the hammer can get a evil eye maestro cam which is very useful so for more situational counters we can look at mira bandit Cade, and mute which you can sledge above them and this only works above you're not buck so you can't go under that's the advantage of buck versus sledge is you can shoot up and down so both vertical plays instead of sledge which just is more of a down player or horizontal player but anyways if mira is under you you can sledge it pop open the mira and the same goes with bandit Cade, and mute which you could just breach the ceiling and use the utility of sledge to get a good angle on the bandit charges mutes cades or mirrors whatever it is it can get it and also be sure to look out for players while you're doing this you will end up looking 
silly while looking for a mirror instead of actually just seeing the player sitting on the mirror. So overall guys, Sledge is a very easy operator to get to. I would give him overall a medium difficulty because he is mechanically simple and has great utility, but I give it a medium because you need some map knowledge to be able to pull off the vertical plays that we talked about in this video. But if you guys have even basic map knowledge, you'll be able to get easy frags from above. So hopefully I taught you guys something about Sledge and how to play it for the beginning players. Hopefully that was very informational. Let me know if it was for anyone that isn't a complete master of the game already. Just to end this video out though, guys, thank you very much for watching and don't take this guide as the end all be all. I'm not the best player in the world. I'm currently a plat player as we speak, which is, I would say, is above average in the Rainbow Six Siege community. Hopefully I can teach you guys something about Rainbow Six Siege, make you guys better players, and maybe I even earned your guys' subscription down below. It's free, red button, hit it, and you will get notifications on future tips. Obviously they aren't gonna be this simple. All of them aren't just gonna be player guides and the simple operator guides, but we're gonna start off with that and we're gonna get more and more advanced. And eventually you guys will know everything that I know and there's no reason for you not to be a, at least a plat player. If you made it this far, you're a complete icon and hopefully you have a fantastic day. And with that, I will leave you guys till next time.